show you how to convert this orthographic waves into isometric waves. So when we look at the given image, orthographic waves are given that means front view and top view is given. So when we observe the image in front view, we can see rectangle shape but actually that is a square shape that is very clear when we observe the top view. Square 68 is given and in front view we can see a triangular like shape but when we look at the top view it is a pyramid because we can see a diagonal cross lines. This is the apex point exactly this point of the pyramid. So let's see how to draw this one using SolidEd software. So when you open SolidEd software the first interface will be like this then you click on drawing. When you click on drawing a drawing sheet will appear. First thing you have to do is right click on sheet and go to sheet setup. In that one select A4 sheet, remove this background and click on OK. Then click on fit button. OK. So that the sheet will be fit. So preferably we are using A4 sheet. We know that while drawing isometric waves we have to draw one straight line and we have to draw a line 30 degree. So on the 30 degree line we have to draw. So anywhere on the straight line you draw a line. Just press tab to shift to the angle. Enter 30 degree. So this will be 30 degree line without any dimension. Again start from this tip. So again press tab key angle. So since we know I need 30 degree from this straight line that means for that I will enter angle 150 degree or you can use move option also for clear understanding I will select all the line by pressing control key then I will change its thickness to 0.13 so always ensure that so we are drawing isometric drawing with a 30 degree inclination line so I will use dimension tool and I will show the dimension. So clear this dimension both are 30 degree. Okay. Ensure that 30 degree and fit to the screen again. Now you start drawing. So I will give one hint. So always in isometric drawing either line will be exactly vertical or the line will be inclined to 30 degree line. That means parallel to 230 degree lines. Don't commit mistake while drawing. So just go through this one. As I told, so in top view, I can see a 60 square of height 20. Clearly observe 60, 60 square that is and height 20. First we have to draw that one. So I will take line tool and then change the thickness to 0.5. So from this point, I will enter the length 60. So I will draw. See, you have to draw either straight line for this line since it is a 60 square I have to draw a line parallel to this one just ensure with the red color it is parallel to this 30 degree line and here also again I have to draw 60 square see just clearly observe the screen when you touch the line which is 30 degree we have drawn so the line you are, you are supposed to draw should be parallel to this 30 degree line when it is parallel it will show with the red Read the indication just clearly observe. See the line must be parallel to this line. You can just move the pointer away from the screen, or if the parallel is, parallel is not visible, you turn on here parallel symbol. Just clearly observe parallel should be turn on. Just select the line, go to Intelli Sketch. In tool, you go to enter sketch. See, it is a if the parallel is not unmarked here, just tick this one and tick intersection also. Click on so then go to this line again. As I told, touch this line, don't don't click, just touch this line. So then, then drag so give the length 60 and it will show parallel. So just in the screen beside the point, you can see parallel line as well as. The 30 degree line parallel to this one is become red color. Both are red. It is 60 again coming from this one. Again it is showing parallel line. Length is 60. Again this is 60. Just draw a 60 square. Then 
so when you observe this image in front view it is 20 dimension so 20 line is exactly vertical line that only i was telling so the line will be parallel to 30 degree line or exactly vertical line only two angle of inclination will come so this dimension is 20 so you can draw 20 from all tip point 20 so 20 from here as well then 20 from this point also since it is a slab of a 60 square you just join all points clear yeah. so this we have joined we have got a 60 square with a height of 20 now clearly observe the given image exactly in the middle there is a square of 40 base that is a pyramid of base square 40 and height 50 first i need to draw base for that one we know total this length is 60 in the middle i need 40 exactly in the middle 40 square for that i have to leave 10 either side see i will take line again from this thing for clear vision i will just zoom this portion zoom this portion then i will take line tool from this tip i will draw 10 so 10 parallel to this line so after 10 i will draw a parallel line just indicate ensure that is a line is parallel just look at the beside the mouse pointer there is a parallel line it is showing click here similarly from this tip draw 10 so touch to this line and draw parallel line then so again from the opposite side you select 10 and then parallel line ensure that line is parallel so again from this tip opposite side you enter the value 10 so draw parallel line i hope when we leave 10 and 10 either side see this side we have left 10 and 10 total length was 60 10 plus 10 that means 20 is subtracted from this obviously this inside length will be 40 so now i will select trim tool and i will trim the lines which is not required so this line is unwanted line for that you just trim that line to ensure the dimension you can go to distance between or go to smart dimension tool just look at this dimension this dimension is 40 okay so then again coming to the picture so exactly from the midpoint height is given 50 we have to draw so again i will come here to mark its midpoint i will join diagonal so diagonal to diagonal corner to corner just to draw corner to corner this corner to this corner tip then i will select the midpoint see just line with a dot indicates midpoint exactly from the midpoint i have to draw a line of height 50 enter 50 draw it straight you go to fix screen so then again if you wish you zoom then from the top tip of the 50 line you join all four sides again from this tip join this side again from this tip you join this side now you trim the lines which is not required to you also so you have to show hidden lines that's why you trim the lines which is not visible from the direct view so this line is also not visible this line is also not visible this is the exact 3d view or isometric view of the given orthographic image so this is given orthographic view and this is a 3d view without hidden lines moving further you can just draw the hidden lines so from this tip again you just draw a line of length 60 and line should be parallel to this one carefully unless and until you will see the parallel symbol you don't play c so beside the mouse pointer you can see parallel symbol then you join and join this one also so you can use two methods after joining the line 
select one line, press hold control, select another line, then you make it dotted line. Okay. So after that one, or you can select the line before only you can select the dotted line option. Then from this tip, you draw until to touch here. Exactly the length will be or total length will be 60 or it will touch here exactly. Draw up to here. Then simply join the tip of this line. This is also dotted line. So this will show you the complete conversion of given orthographic image into ISO. So here one more thing you can show the dimension. The total dimension of this will be 60 and this will be 20 as for the given sketch. Thanks for watching this video.